You might remember in our very first episode, we were generating OG images using an awesome package called OG Edge, which uses um, Vercel Satori, open source Satori package under the hood. Now, in some cases, this is really great um, because it is a lot faster and a lot, lot lighter for you know generating um, open graph images, for example. But you know, sometimes we actually need to take a screenshot, for example, of a third-party website, and we want to do that. Um, serverless, you might have um, been running into issues with that before. Uh, because when you're using Puppeteer, you might be, um, you know, running out of space in your functions and all of that. So there is a really handy solution for that. Uh, and we'll want to look at that now. So we have an example here using um, Puppeteer in combination with a really cool service called browserless.io. So browserless is a service that we can use to use WebSockets to basically connect to the browser and we don't need to run it ourselves. And then we can just hook Puppeteer up to um, browserless and do our screenshots on the fly, on the edge, uh, fully serverless. So that is really, really neat. Let's do exactly that. So we'll go ahead and we'll create a new function. So in our um, Superbase project, if you don't have a Superbase project yet, um, you know, just run Superbase in it to initialize your Superbase project. And then you can say Superbase functions new. And we'll just say uh, screenshot. So we're cr just creating a new function here called um, screenshot. Um, and then what we can do is um, maybe let's just copy out uh, all of this code and then we'll have a look at what is happening there. Um, exactly. So first of all, we'll need the puppeteer um, dependency. So we'll need to add that to our import map um, JSON file. We can look at our um, functions examples. We also have uh, an import map in there. So that's quite similar if you're familiar with Node, kind of the package.json, uh, but rather than installing the dependencies kind of locally, um, we're actually just pulling them down at runtime. So here we'll need this one, the puppeteer um, dependency. So we'll just pop that in at the end, puppeteer uh, here. And now um, we should be uh, picking up our uh, import map, we'll just say uh, puppeteer, there we are. And so now we have our puppeteer here. And then what we need is our puppeteer um, browserless IO uh, key. And we'll need to add that to our um, .env file. So first of all, let's um, remove the console log. We don't want um, to log out our uh, API key. And then we'll just need to set up the Puppeteer browserless IO key. Uh, and so we can go into our browserless account and we'll can just copy out the API key from there. So in our .env file, we'll just use a global .env file if you don't have one. Yet you can just say touch.env to create a new um, .env file. And then in that uh, puppeteer browserless IO key, and we'll just copy that key over. And so now we can use that in our function. So what we're doing here is um, we're connecting puppeteer, we're using the browser WebSocket endpoint. We're pointing that at our um, browserless.io um, with our um, API key. And then we're just saying, okay, using our browser, we open a new page. We want to um, navigate. Um, so we can actually here just get the um, URL. We can put something in there that we want to screenshot. 
um, or otherwise we'll just use example.com and then we'll basically just say the page, our browser page, we go to um, this URL and then we'll take um, a screenshot. And once we have the screenshot, so here this uh, page screenshot will um, return uh, our uh, buffer response and then we can create our response of content type image uh, PNG uh, feeding in the buffer here. Okay, so let's give that a save and spin that up locally. So we'll say superbase functions serve uh, and then we want this to be publicly available. So no verify JLab T and then we'll need our .env file, which is just at superbase.env. So now we're serving our functions. Um, we called it a screenshot so we can go uh, to our local host. Um, here we had our open graphic sample, so we'll just go screenshot. Now we don't have um, any URL here. And the first time we're running this, um, we're actually pulling down all the dependencies. Um, so it might take a little while. But so now we can see we got our example.com domain. Um, maybe what we can do now is, you know, the Twitter uh, API has gotten more and more expensive. So maybe what we can do is we can just take a nice screenshot of um, our tweet. So that's a service that, you know, nowadays might come in handy. So we can just say URL equals um, our Twitter URL. And so we're just picking that up from the URL and then um, taking a little screenshot from the browser. And so now, now we have an issue that um, Twitter hasn't loaded yet. Um, but what we can actually do is uh, we'll just go to the documentation. We'll just look at the screenshot here. Um, there are some options, I believe what we can do is, and then I think we can do uh, something like this, wait until network idle. So let's see, this is uh, in the go to, I believe. So go to takes a string and some options. And so we can say, wait until uh, I believe network idle too. So let's give that a try. Um, give that a save and go back to our screenshot and see if then um, we're able to capture the entire content. Yeah, um, slightly better. So now we have at least um, kind of the, the text here. Uh, we're missing the image still. So not entirely sure what's happening there. But you know, if you have an idea, do put it down in um, the comments. But yes, anyway, so this is how easily you can uh, get started taking screenshots on the web um, using Puppeteer and Browserless with Superbase Edge functions. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.